All right, it's a beautiful day. Going to be a beautiful night, too. We're in the 80s now here at the Community Garden on the south side of Lafayette near the Mall and Ivy Tech. And notice the temps tonight. It's going to be good for area gardens. No heat stress here. We're looking at lows in the 50s pretty much area-wide. Now, once we get into tomorrow, highs running in the 80s. Warmer than it was today, 86 for the high temperature. Humidity still not too bad. Sunday, the humidity creeps upward. We're going to be in the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees. It's going to feel a few degrees warmer than that, perhaps a couple degrees warmer than that. 87 Burlington, 88 at Monticello. The dew points, that's a key number. Once you get above that green line you see on the graph, that's 68. Get above that, it's muggy. We're very comfortable today. We'll be okay tomorrow, but notice Sunday 67. We're in the tropical 70s next week. Notice something here on the satellite and radar composite, how the clouds off to the west in the western U.S. are kind of moving clockwise. That signals what we call a big upper ridge. That is a big dome of heat. You can see that with the jet stream pattern. That's where all the heat is. It's moving eastward. And as it moves eastward, another thing's going to happen. The humidity will creep up from the Gulf of Mexico and also some of those storms in the southern U.S. will start to move to the northwest and the north. They don't look organized, but really Tuesday through Thursday, some scattered little tropical thunderstorms possible. And then by Friday, the jet dips. A cold front will pass through. And I'll tell you, uh, the storms, one, look more organized, and they look more widespread Friday. So it appears, at least right now, the next potential of any sort of severe weather, not only in the viewing area, but also in the Midwest, would tend to be on Friday. But, boy, is it going to get hot next week. An official heat wave on the way. Notice 90s, 92 Monday. It's going to feel more like 100. Be in the 90s on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Widely scattered storms Tuesday through Thursday, but by Friday, storms a little more organized with a cold front. We'll watch the severe threat. And then after Friday, at least right now, for dancing, it looks dry and cooler. But if the timing of the front changes, we would have storms on Saturday instead of Friday. Back to you guys. All right, Chad, enjoy the garden out there tonight.